Arsenal are slowly becoming a major force in the league with Arteta leading them back to the podium of Premier League giants. They are a team to beat this season and are the current leaders of the Premier League. But like everything, success isn't permanent and demands constant investments and Arsenal seem more than willing to spend big and back Arteta. This video brings you the latest transfer rumours on how the Gunners can shape up for next season. Declan Rice Arsenal need a new midfielder, that is it. With Xhaka and Partey being 30 and 29 respectively, it is obvious that they need reinforcement. Jorginho came in in January, but the 31-year-old was obviously signed to fill the gap in the short term. In the midfield department, Rice is still seen as an ideal target. The Hammers captain is seen as the ideal pick to take on the baton of an everlasting presence in the midfield. He's impressed Premier League fans over several seasons now, and this has raised his stocks considerably. Rice is only tied to a contract at West Ham until 2024, but that agreement does include the option for a further 12-month extension. And it is that which is helping to keep his asking price high, heading into what could be a pivotal transfer window in his career. Will the move materialise? We will have to wait and watch. Ansu Fati. Another talented guy on the list, he is a promising prospect. Injuries and the weight of the number 10 shirt may have halted his progress, but the lad still has a lot of potential and Barcelona are looking to cash in. Catalan newspaper Mundo Deportivo claimed just a couple of weeks ago that Arsenal and Tottenham both fancy signing Fati, while CBS sports reporter Ben Jacobs has even told Give Me Sports that Arsenal have started contract negotiations with Fatty's representatives to discuss a deal. An £89 million price tag has been put up for Fatty, according to Jacobs, and with eight goals in his first season for Barca, many manifested that Fatty would become a superstar, but luck wasn't on his side, it seems, and injuries came to him. This Arsenal move may be the perfect opportunity for Ansu to kickstart his career again. Jesper Lindstrom Another exciting prospect, Arsenal tried to sign him last season, but the move couldn't materialise. Now, Sport1 has reported that the Danish attacking midfielder is a long-term target for the Gunners, and they are looking to sign him again in the summer. One thing is certain, this won't be easy for the Gunners, with the player tied to a contract with his club until 2026 without any release clause option and valued at at least 30 million euros to 35 million euros. Lindstrom has amassed nine goals and four assists in 29 games across competitions for Eintracht Frankfurt this season and has a bright future ahead of him. Everyone wants such a promising youngster at their club and these are exactly the reports stating that his signature would take some doing for the Gunners. Let's see how willing Edu and Arteta are to spending money this summer. Alexis McAllister. Probably the guy who has benefited the most from Argentina's World Cup campaign, what a World Cup this lad had. Obviously, Argentina had Messi, but he was equally pivotal in leading them to their first World Cup since 1986. His stocks have skyrocketed in recent weeks and the performances he is putting in for Brighton have been equally good. With the Champions League football practically guaranteed at the Emirates next season, Arsenal will fancy their chances of signing him, but he will cost big. In fact, these are the words of his father. We all know that in July there will be possibilities to leave, but prior to the World Cup, Alexis renewed his contract so that the club has an opportunity of an important transfer so that a lot can reach Brighton. It is the idea. McAllister himself is also in no hurry to leave the Seagulls and only a substantial bid will be able to tempt Brighton into selling. Even Fresneda. A right back change at Arsenal? Well, this seems to be the case with Arsenal regularly sending scouts to watch the Real Valladolid youngster, even Fresneda, after showing an interest in him during the January transfer window. These are the words of none other than the highly acclaimed journalist Fabrizio Romano, who revealed this in his exclusive briefing for Court Offside. It seems the Gunners are keen on the talented 18-year-old as they look for a new right-back next season, though Romano has added that Inter Milan's Dumfries 
is not one of the names on their radar. They are exploring right back options and Ivan Freshneda remains anticipated and appreciated. They are sending scouts regularly to follow him, but Dumfries has completely different value for Inter at the moment. His situation is still quiet. Who will be Arsenal's new right back for next season? One thing is for sure though, it will be a big name with them being able to offer Champions League football for the first time in seven seasons. Who do you guys think we should pick up in the summer? Let us know in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.